Okay, so I know you guys are probably like, where has she been? Where has this girl been? She said she was posting videos every week and she's only posting whenever she feels like it. O'clock. Listen. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another exciting video for you guys. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to slick your hair up underneath your wigs without braiding, without twisting it, without having to do any type of rocket science. You could literally have your hair nice and flat underneath your wigs without braiding it. I'm gonna show you guys my whole process, everything I use, and it's gonna be super quick and easy for you guys because, girl, I don't know how to braid, and you might not know how to braid either, so this video is gonna be perfect for you. If this is your first time seeing my face, if you've never met me before, my name is Erica Andrea. Feel free to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so that you'll be notified every single time I upload a new video, but other than that, let's get into what we're talking about today. Um, This is like a week old wash and go i guess you could call it um i'm just gonna refresh it so that my hair can slick down a little bit better and i'm making this video because like believe it or not i get a lot of questions about like how i get my hair flat underneath my wigs because as you guys can see i don't have flat hair you know my hair isn't easily moldable like you can't just put water in my hair and think that it's gonna you know slick down so it is a process and the first step in that process is exactly what I'm doing right now you're just gonna go ahead and detangle your hair because if your hair is not detangled it's not it's not gonna slick down so yeah I'm doing that please excuse my dark armpits you know um so yeah I'm just splitting my hair in half so that I can further detangle it and this is going to be the first section that I slick down. Now, when you're doing this, you really want to like be strategic with it and really think about what you're doing because like, say for instance, obviously we're going to be putting a wig on on top of this so you want your hair to be really moisturized so you wouldn't just wet your hair slick it back and that's it you have to add something to it so what i'm going to do i'm going to add a conditioner you could really use any old conditioner um i wouldn't recommend using like a really expensive conditioner for this because you're literally just slicking your hair back to put a wig on top of it so use something cheap i'm using aussie moist a lot of people like this i find that it does do a pretty good job at keeping my hair moisturized if I'm just gonna put it up you know you're gonna take a brush like this and you're just gonna go ahead and continue to slick it back and if your hair is in a blow-dried state you know you don't have to do it in sections you could probably get it to slick back in one piece I however my hair had a little texture to it I've been wetting it and refreshing it after wash day so yeah and like I said just keep making sure that it's nice and detangled you want to get a hair tie or a scrunchie, whatever you want to call it. I like to use these, these long ones. Even though they are a little bit more bulky, I just find that they hold my hair better. So I'm just going to lightly pull that together. I'm just going to turn so that you guys can get an idea of what this looks like and how much hair I have to work with. So, next working with this top section of hair. If it feels like it has dried out on you, you can go ahead and apply some more water. Mine is still pretty damp, so I'm just gonna comb it out. And because the wig that I'm putting on today, I'm gonna be wearing a middle part, I believe, so I'm gonna part my hair down the middle so that when the lace is over my actual scalp, you know, it'll peek through and look more natural. If you like were to slick it back like this, It'll look okay, but it won't look as good as if you parted your hair properly underneath I'm just gonna spray a teensy bit more water. So yeah, I put a generous amount and I'm just gonna cover all my hair It doesn't matter that it's turning white because it's it, it'll go away. It's fine You just really want to coat the hair and make sure that it's nice and moisturized because think about it When you're slicking your hair back, you're applying a lot of tension, you know, the hair is pulling and if you're pulling something that is dry and crusty and dusty, it's going to snap, it's going to break, you're going to get a lot of breakage and shedding and all that. But if you do a good job at moisturizing your hair before you slick it backwards and put a lot of tension on it, it's going to be more elastic, it's going to bounce back, you know, it's not going to be as prone to breakage. So, 
I don't have a mirror, so this part that I'm about to do is probably not gonna be straight. <laughs> Okay, and that's about as far back as I go because it really doesn't make that much of a difference. And as you guys can see, I don't know if you guys have seen my natural hair in a while, but I feel like it's growing a lot. Like, if you just stretch it out, it, you know, it's getting quite, it's, I'm getting some inches, okay? So, I'm really happy about that. If you guys want a updated natural hair journey video feel free to let me know because you know i do have some things to talk to you guys about my natural hair so i can make that video for you guys if you want me to so now that we're getting towards the top we got we gotta make sure it's slick okay so i'm gonna begin to use gel i'm gonna be using my favorite eco styler it's this one it works the best for my hair use whichever one works for you i've tried maybe three or four different ones and this one holds in my hair the best and it's max hold 10. when you're looking at the eco stylers make sure you pay attention to this circle that's always on the bottle and it'll tell you if it's more of a light hold or if it's more of a strong hold Ta -da! And this is the size I get because I'm like one of those people who hate going back and forth. Oh, f If you guys could see how much gel just fell out of this bottle, this is on my carpet. I am literally the absolute worst. Like, but yeah, I put the Eco Styler on my hair. Sorry. Sorry about all the technical difficulties. I am really just in shambles, but I feel like you guys should see me in shambles and that way I'll be more relatable because who's perfect all the time? Like I can't come on here bubbly and perfect and shiny all the time. Like I just can't. So yeah, you're just going to go ahead and slick your hair back. As you guys can see, this is what I'm looking like. The hair at the top of my head is shorter than the back, but I think it is catching up now. I don't have as many problems as I've had in the past getting my hair slicked back. So, what I'm going to do, instead of taking the scrunchie out right now, to save myself time, I'm going to pull the hair taut like this, and I'm just going to use an alligator clip, I think you call these, just to hold that hair that I just slicked back in place while I work on this side, if that makes sense. Because if you remember, I split it into two sections, and the bottom piece is already tied up. And I don't want to have to take the scrunchie off, put it back on, take the scrunchie off, put it back on. Like, we're going to do this two times and that's it. So, we're going to go ahead and get some more gel. And this time, not spill the whole thing on the floor. You know, that would be nice. And you just want to make sure it's nice and sleek. And now you're ready to slick your hair back. So, I'm going to pull out that alligator clip. And now, I'm going to take out that bottom piece. And I'm going to secure this at the base of my neck. You don't want it to look bulky under your wig. Now, I do have kind of a lot of hair to be doing it like this. But this is just how i always done it since I went natural and I cut all my hair off. <laughs> so I'm just going to keep doing it. Slick my hair back. And like I said, you don't have to go too crazy, okay? Don't go too crazy trying to make this perfect because it's going to be covered. So let me just turn around so you guys can see where the ponytail is. This next step is very important. You're probably thinking, well, what are you gonna do with this puff back here? I'm about to show you, sis, I'm about to show you. What you're gonna do is you're gonna wet this hair back here because you want it to be really, really malleable because you're gonna mold it. So you wet it, more conditioner, just so that the curls kind of clump together. And you're gonna take a Denman brush and this is just gonna help clump all the curls together. I hope you guys can see like what's happening to it as I wet it and added a little more conditioner. And as you guys can see, it's much more flat. And when you pull it like this, it gets really flat. So you're gonna pull it like this and flip it up and lay it as flat as you can, just like that. Then you're going to take a bobby pin and go ahead and secure that to the base of your head. 
just like that. And as you guys can see, it's pretty flat. Okay, so now that the base is done, now all that's left to do is literally just put the wig on. Um, I'm going to be putting this wig on. I've been wearing this wig a couple days in a row. And I'm just going to throw this on to show you guys how flat it looks. Whew. Pull it forward. And literally, I'm ready to go. Like I could literally go outside like this. And that is literally everything that I do. Like, that was so quick, you guys. You could have your hair done in, like, 15 minutes, literally. So, let me turn to the side just so you guys can see. I know a lot of people think that if you do this method, your hair is going to be really bulky. But look. Like, it's really not lumpy at all. Especially towards the top, where it matters. This area right here, if this is lumpy and bumpy... It's going to look like a wig, sis. So, towards the back, it's okay for it to be a little bit more bump bumpy. But, as you guys can tell, it really looks super natural. It's very, very flat. You don't have to braid your hair underneath your wigs. Especially if you don't want to, you don't have time to, you don't know how, you don't want to pay to get it braided. You can do this method and it'll work for you. Obviously, don't do this too often like how I do. Because you can experience a little bit of breakage like at the back of your hair where the wig rubs against your ponytail but if you want to do this in the times where you can't get it braided or if you don't want to get it braided this will work perfectly for you and if you have really short hair you can do this and you won't have to worry about anything so yeah I literally just wanted to come on here and give you guys this video because a couple of people have asked me this and I always wanted to make this video and I just never got around to doing it okay so Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If it was helpful, feel free to let me know in the comments down below because it warms my heart for every person that ever comments something positive and everybody that ever says that I help them and my videos inspire them and blah, 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 blah. So, feel free to show me love in the comments down below because it feeds me. It feeds me, okay? Shout out to everybody who is still subscribed and still turning into my videos even though I haven't been posting as consistently. You know, it's really, really hard being in nursing school and being a YouTuber at the same time and I'm just so blessed to have this extra income but school is always going to be my main priority because this is what I love to do. Like, nursing and taking care of people that is like my calling but also this is another one of my passions so yeah I just have to prioritize school a little bit for now but whenever I have time just know that I will be here for you guys thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to turn on your post notifications so that you know whenever I do decide to post a video so yes thank you guys so much for watching and I will see all of you beautiful people in my next one bye